Viewers, today we will be discussing about the view on glycolysis. Uh, you are quite familiar that glycolysis is a is a is from the word uh, glyco or glucosion, and then lysis means breakdown. So it relates to the carbohydrate metabolisms. And <clears throat> what is important important to understand is that what is the role of uh, glycolysis? So glycolysis helps in carbohydrate metabolisms and it produces energy currency like ATP, adenosine triphosphate, and also it helps in NADH, you see, with NAD plus and NADH, which is required in oxidative phosphorylation or electron transport system. So, 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 so the role of glycolysis is very evident and very important, especially in uh, once we test food and that contain carbohydrates. Remember, our food contains carbohydrates. It also contains uh, what you can say, proteins. It contains fats. It contains lipids, uh, like uh, uh, small lipids and high density or low density lipoprotein. Uh, so uh, important is to understand that we will be focusing on carbohydrate metabolism. Having said that, uh, what is important? Uh, is glyco related to glucose and lysis mean breakdown that we talked about in the beginning and then the phases of glycolysis that is to understand remember glycolysis if you take gly put glycolysis, glycolysis in the center so uh, in there are two types uh, two phases rather and one which the energy is used and the other is in which the energy is consumed. Remember, once the energy is used, it means that high, high bonds are created. High bonds are, are formed. This is a technical point to remember, high energy bonds. High energy bonds are formed. How it is formed, for example, so this glucose molecule, so this glucose molecule will be incorporated on phosphate group, phosphate group. And this phosphate group once incorporated, so then it is called as glycerol D high three phosphate. You see, so in case of uh, once energy is used, remember high energy bond in shape of phosphate is always formed. But uh, in case of once the energy is produced, so the high energy bond of those particular what you can say that uh, contains uh, already phosph already phosphorylated molecule of glycerol D high is then converted into uh, non. Uh, what you can say, non non uh, phosphate bonded molecule that is called pyruvate. So remember, in this process, the ATP is generated. ATP is generated, and in this process, the ATP is uh, consumed. Remember. So in the next step, it will be clear that how much ATPs are generated and how are consumed. So this is one glucose molecule. Remember, glucose molecule which contains six carbon atoms. And remember, when there is a, in the presence of hexose kinase, because there are six carbon atoms, glucose, so in the presence of hexose kinase, it is converted into glucose 6 phosphate, remember. Still, there is a good number of carbon at 6. And then in the presence of isomerase enzyme, it is converted into fructose 6 phosphate, remember. It is converted into fructose 6 phosphate. Remember, this phosphate bond has been incorporated from this ATP. This phosphate bond has been incorporated from this ATP. Remember, and then what happens? Then the rearrangement of this molecule happens, and the rearrangement of glucose molecule that happens till the formation of fructose. And this fructose 6 phosphate, since the rearrangement of this molecule is happening, therefore the enzyme is involved, called as isomerase, because this molecule is expressed in different isomeric form, and that is fructose 6 phosphate. This fructose 6 phosphate. Is then is then carried. You see, is then carried to uh, what you can say. Uh, again, ATP is used. So remember, two molecules of ATP are used. One one is here, and the second one used is here. ATP is again used, and then phosphoproctokinase is there. And this already containing one at position six, one uh, phosphate group, and at position one. Again, another phosphate group is uh, incorporated, so it is called as bis or diphosphate. You see fructose 1,6 diphosphate or fructose 1,6 bis phosphate molecule is formed. 
and then in the presence of aldolases aldol you see aldol condensation and it is converted into glyceraldehyde three phosphate remember this glyceraldehyde three phosphate is then converted is then converted then converted uh, rearrange this molecule rearrange the basal form is rearranged uh, into glycerol uh, dihydro uh, dihydro um, acetone uh, dihydroxy acetone derivative or phosphate and remember this is again three carbon atom and remember again this molecule is also also uh, three carbon atom you see so three carbon plus three carbon that constitutes uh, six carbon uh, uh, molecule remember and we started from this six carbon molecule so what is important important to understand is then uh, one three base uh, uh, phospho uh, mm, mm, uh, phospho uh, plus phosphoglycerate is converted into three phosphoglycerate molecule and remember then the rearrangement of this molecule happens and this goes from position three to position two so two phosphoglycerate is formed and remember the enzyme here involved is the is again the isomerase and then from this two phosphoglycerate or glyceraldehyde it is converted into enol form enol form means there is ketone ketone plus hydroxy plus 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 this carbonyl group is is attached with this remember here atp molecules are uh, generated remember on um, again here ATP molecule is uh, generated. So here consumed, you see, and here two ATP are produced here, two ATPs are produced here. So two plus two is equal to four, and here uh, one ATP molecule, another one, 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 one plus one, other this molecule is generated. So the net gain in this glycolysis is is a four minus two is equal to two ATPs. This is this is a point to remember. This may be asked in viva or in question. So we reach till the pyruvic acid or pyruvate. Remember, and then it is converted into oxaloacetate, and then it goes to the Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle or carboxylic acid cycle. So from here till here, this is called as glycolysis. That how the breakdown of six carbon molecule atom is converted into three carbon molecules remember here the rearrangement happens and uh, this is mm, and this is these are the rest are unidirectional reaction this this reaction is also uh, uh, is also uh, reversible and this is also reversible these are reversible reaction these are reversible reaction i will put the right r here and i will put the right r here so these two are reversible and rest of reaction are unidirectional i hope you understand this and what is important so a question may be plotted in the paper what is the number of atps used in glycolysis and remember one glucose molecule that contains six carbon atom is converted into three carbon atom glyceraldehyde, hard and then pyruvate or lactate you see so three carbon so three plus three makes this constitute the six carbon and then remember in the if you go back so uh, 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 two atps are used and uh, in the process and four ATPs are generated so the net generation is the two molecule and what is the number of ATPs generated as we ask this question and another question what is the importance of the role of glycer of glycolysis in carbohydrate metabolism and what is the determining step in glycolysis thank you